and I did go home. I went home to St. Louis for Christmas, and I walked into my parents' house, which I hadn't been into in about, I don't know, six months, and unbeknownst to me, they changed all the light bulbs in the house into those energy-saving light bulbs. <laughs> so when I walked in, as if I haven't had enough weird lighting in <laughs> Afghanistan, they're sitting in this weird, dim, hazy lighting, and I'm like, hey, what? what's going on, guys? We, uh, we having a seance? <laughs> my dad goes, no. No, we're not, Kathleen. Your mother thought it would be a good idea at our age when our eyesight is failing <laughs> to make the house as dimly lit as possible, Kathleen. <laughs> because she's upset, because Al Gore's upset, because there's no more polar bears. Well, you know what? I am 69 years old. I live in Missouri. I've never seen a polar bear. I don't care if I ever see a polar bear. What I'd like to see is the coffee table. That's what I'd like to see. <laughs> and that starts the side argument. It's not because of Al Gore, Jack. They just don't make the regular light bulbs anymore. I can't find the regular light bulbs ever. When? When did they stop making regular light bulbs? And why weren't we notified in the mail by the government? <laughs> I mean, we're only gonna live 10 more years. I could have bought enough light bulbs for the rest of our lives. I would have bought extra and sold them out of the back of the truck to other old people who didn't know. I could have jacked the price up. Oh my God. They're up all the time. It doesn't matter what time you call the house, one of them's up. Yeah, oh, it could be two in the afternoon, three in the morning, 5 a.m., 11, hello. They're up. They call me from weird places. It's 6 a.m. where I am. It's 5 a.m. where they are. Hello. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, more importantly, what are you doing, Mom? Well, we're at Home Depot's parking lot. We... We thought they opened at six, they don't. They, uh, so we're just gonna sit here for an hour and look at the other old people that were confused by their ad. I said, I said, Mom, why aren't you sleeping anymore? Well, don't tell your father this, because he'll be embarrassed, but now we're afraid we're gonna die in our sleep. So, we've decided we'll just stay up, and one of us will be up, and then we'll nap, because you never hear somebody dying while they were napping. You don't hear, oh, he died in his nap. You hear they died in their sleep, but if we both fall asleep, we won't know the other one's dead, and that's how things get out of hand. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, Mom. I went to Target with her. My mom was a nurse for 30 years. Uh, she's retired. I said, out of nowhere, while we're pushing a cart, God, I have a splitting sinus headache. She goes, oh, here, and roots through her giant purse and goes, take this. And I took it. And about a second later, I hear, oh. <laughs> I said, uh, what? what was that all about? She goes, you swallow that? <laughs> yep. Sure did. Swallow it. What color was it? I don't know, Mom. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't look at what color it was. <laughs> Kathleen, why didn't you look at what color the pill was? <laughs> what, why? Why? Because you're not somebody I met at a party. <laughs> you were my, my mom. You were a nurse for 30 years. I bought the whole story. I did. I trusted you. I ate it blind. I just ate it blind. I said, well, if you had to guess, what kind of pill do you think I ate? <laughs> she said, well, I don't know. It's hard to tell. It came out of the blue unmarked bottle that your father and I call the All Stars. <laughs> and it could be anything from pain medication to blood pressure pills, can't I? I said, what if it's his blood pressure medication? She said, you're going to pass out. And that's why we should abandon our carts and leave this target immediately, because I can't drag you out of here with this bad knee. That knee replacement did not work. I don't care what he says. It didn't work. 